Queridas cristãs e cristãos das diversas denominações ao redor do mundo, temos um convite especial para vocês este ano. Participe do Tempo da Criação. O Tempo da Criação é a celebração cristã anual para rezar e responder junto ao clamor da criação. A família cristã ecumênica no mundo inteiro se une de forma especial durante esse período para escutar e cuidar da nossa casa comum. A etapa da celebração deste tempo especial começa no dia 1 de setembro, festa da criação, e encerra no dia 4 de outubro, festa de São Francisco de Assis, padroeiro da ecologia, admirado por tantas denominações cristãs. Este ano, vamos nos unir em torno do tema Esperançar e Agir com a Criação. Mausimo al-Khaliqa Mausimo al-Khaliqa é o tempo que a gente vai fazer com o Khaliqa e com o Khaliqa toda من خلال العبادة والتوبة والالتزام معا تبدأ مرحلة تحضير لموسم الخليقة هذا العام في شهر شباط القادم علينا إن الله يدعونا بطرق مختلفة من أجل الاحتفال بهذا الموسم بطريقة مسيحية لذا سنتواصل مع إخوتنا الرؤساء الكنسيين الآخرين وندعو مجتمعاتنا إلى اكتشاف كيفية الإصغاء إلى صرخة الخليقة والاستجابة لها إن مرحلة التحضير هي أساسية لنجاح موسم الخليقة وإقامة الروابط والعلاقات وتجديد فرح اللقاء واحتضان بعضنا البعض وتنمية مواهب الشركة الأخوية والسلام بيننا كشعب الله ومع بيتنا المشترك أتمنى للجميع أياما مباركة وكل موسم وأنتم بخير Last year for the first time ever the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew the first of the Orthodox Church the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, of the Anglican Church, and Pope Francis of the Catholic Church, met during the season of creation to pray together with the people of God and other faith leaders from across denominations in the Together Ecumenical Prayer Vigil organized by the Tuesday community. It was a deep moment of ecumenical unity, and as part of season of creation history, it was also a sign of the fruits of this long journey that started with the Orthodox Church when they declared the Feast of Creation on September 1st in 1989. Then the World Council of Churches extended it to the Feast of St. Francis on October 4th, becoming then a month-long celebration that is embraced by several other denominations, communions, and movements around the world every year. The image of last year's Season of Creation symbol at the Together Vigil flowed as a powerful example of how we can achieve impactful actions when Christians unite. As witnesses to this historic moment, we are all called, more than ever, to join Season of Creation 2024 with renewed motivation. Christian hope is not superficial. It's concrete. Our hope is rooted in the character, promises, and actions of God. Hope is faith in the things we do not see, knowing that tomorrow will be better because Christ is resurrected. He who is life overcame the death caused by our sins. Hope inspires us to act, to recognize the need for personal and collective theological conversion, to repent and repair our broken relationships with the earth, with one another, with other creatures, and with God. Only when we work together with creation can the first fruits of hope 
be born. The first fruits of hope can be seen when we think and work collectively, recognizing how we depend on creation and listening to the cries of the earth and all her creatures. El símbolo del tiempo de la creación este año es Las primicias de la esperanza, inspirado en Romanos 8, 19 a 25. My dear friends of the earth, St. Francis of Assisi says, The earth is our sister and mother, who sustains and governs us. However, the times we live in reveal that we do not relate to her as a sister or a mother, but rather as a resource at our service. Creation is groaning because of our greed and our unsustainable actions that harm her. Along with our sister, Mother Earth, human creatures and other creatures cry out because of the consequences of our destructive action causing climate crisis, loss of biodiversity and human and Earth suffering. And yet, creation teaches us that hope is present in the waiting, in the expectation of a better future. Creation also teaches us that to wait and to hope does not mean standing still and quiet, but rather it means to groan, to cry, and to actively strive for new life amidst the struggles. Together with creation, we are called to worship the Creator, working together for a future of a fruitful hope and action. Go to seasonofcreation.org for all the latest updates. There you will find concrete proposals to prepare and live this season intentionally through prayer, sustainability initiatives and advocacy actions. We are launching the Season of Creation theme this year in February, after the week of prayer for Christian unity celebrated in the Northern Hemisphere, and after Pentecost when the Southern Hemisphere celebrates the week of prayer for Christian unity. The official celebration guide will be available in several languages on the website as well to help you with even more concrete ideas and an ecumenical prayer service for your community to use. We hope that this season of creation renews and unites us by the one baptism and call to care for our common home. We invite you to plan and prepare your own participation in this celebration. Creation is groaning and God calls us to hope and act together with her.